Hello, this is Natasha from Waimo Homeschool, and today I wanted to give you a flip through of the Matthew C. Delta. Now, this pack comes with the instructional DVDs. I didn't open this because there's really nothing to see. It also comes with, and I'm not going to show you the other side, but it comes with a code for the digital pack. You can also purchase just the digital pack separately, which is actually what I did this year with Gamma. I just purchased the digital pack because I found the workbook at a thrift store. And I actually much prefer the digital pack to the DVD, so we may not even ever actually use the DVD, but it did come with the set. Okay, it comes with the instruction manual. The digital pack online also comes with the digital instructor's manual, but um, this gives the lessons and tells you how to teach the kids, basically. So if you did not want to use the DVD, you could teach the lesson using these lessons in the teacher guide. So this goes through all every single lesson. And then in the back, it has all of the answer keys. With the digital pack again, that is all included online for your convenience. Then we have the test, and that's just what it says. There's a test for each lesson. If you're unfamiliar with Matthew C, Matthew C has 30 lessons, and then um, it has unit tests and a final test. So there's a test for each lesson, and then unit tests and, and uh, one final test. The nice thing about Matthew C is that it only has 30 lessons, so um, you can usually finish it easily in a school year. However, each lesson has multiple days of worksheets, and I'll show you that. Here's a student workbook. The sheets are perforated, so that's nice. You can tear them out. Uh, this is for you to keep track of their scores and what they've actually done. So, here we go. Uh, lesson practice 1A. This is definitely a review of Gamma. And... If you've done Gamma, this will be no problem for your student. So as you can see, each lesson one has A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so let me give you a look through that. A, B, it's always one side, front and back. The problems are spaced out nicely, so it's not too much work. There's no color though. And also usually how it works is that um, lessons A, B, and C, or I should say worksheets A, B, and C are kind of like the new concept. And then D, E, and F have the new concepts plus review. And then G, application and enrichment. So here they're working on factors with a little coloring page. And then lesson 2A, now, right away, 2A is going to be new material, okay? So, only lesson 1A is review from Gamma. You're going to jump right into division in 2A. Now, granted, it's single or, you know, um, that's not single digit, but um, easy uh, division problems, and if they know their multiplication facts from Gamma, this will not be a problem, but it does jump right into new material in 2A. And then A, B, and C is all that new material. And then D, E, F is that review plus the new material and then the application enrichment, G. And so what they say is if your kid is getting this, if they're getting the concept, you don't necessarily have to do every single worksheet. So what we kind of usually did was skip one, like 2A, 2C, 2E, 2G, or something like that where we're just skipping one, okay? Um, this division fact sheet is, there was a multiplication fact sheet in gamma, so now there's a division fact sheet in delta. But I will just start flipping through here. So we're talking about area. They did a lot of area in gamma two, but of just um, rectangles. So now they're going to be doing um, you know, trapezoids and things like that. So even though delta is division, it's not just division. See here, we re we're reviewing. 
subtraction and multiplication. Matthew C. does teach multiplication in a different way that, than most programs do. Um, Matthew C. always has word problems too. So you will find, like here, you'll find word problems in every lesson. Another key uh, feature of Matthew C., which we've utilized this page so much, is the symbols and tables. We definitely use this all throughout Gamma, and I'm sure it will be utilized in Delta, especially these measurements, but you know, eventually you want them to memorize those, but that still is helpful. And then a glossary. And then there's always a congratulations certificate at the end and tells them they can move on to the next level. Now I wanted to flip back to the beginning so you could see. Um, oh, let me, I'm sorry, let me go to the teacher's guide. I wanted to show you, there we go, what this covers. So it covers obviously division finding the average, finding the area of a trapezoid, um, place value notation, expanded notation. They worked on that in gamma two. Um, more division, more division, rounding and estimation, volume, fraction of a number, Roman numerals, fraction of one, Roman numerals again. So this is going to be covering division. It's going to be reviewing addition, subtraction, and multiplication. It's going to be expanding on area that they have already learned in gamma. It's going to be expanding a little bit more on fractions and place value and expanded notation. And it's going to be introducing Roman numerals. So Roman numerals were not included in gamma, but they are included in delta. And so here you go. Here is the curriculum sequence here. Primer, if you're unfamiliar, primer, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, zeta, Pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus, and calculus. Okay, so um, I hope that was helpful and to give you an idea of what Delta covers and what Delta is like. And of course, you can also get the manipulative set if you don't already own those. And there you have it. Have a wonderful day.